Okay, so to re-index Magento uh, via the command line using an SSH connection. So what I've done here is uh, the window that you see here is a terminal window which is also available in Mac and I believe it's called terminal as well. Um, but it's just basically a command line window where we can type commands. So the first command we're going to do is we're going to connect to the server by typing SSH and then the domain name. In my case, it's AmericanStudentSupply.com, and then we'll do dash L, and then the username. Um, in this case, we're going to use root, uh, which is our username, but it could be any username. We hit enter. That's going to prompt us for a password, and I'm going to copy that and paste it in here, and then hit enter. And that's going to log us onto the server. So, um, so now what we need to do is we need to change directories into the shell directory, which is a subdirectory of the Magento installation. And in our case, that is going to be in uh, var www. Oh, um, cd means uh, change directory, and then you put a space, and then you start typing the directory names uh, to get to the directory. So, like I said, in our case, it's var www vhosts americanstudentsupply.com http docs and shell. And that's the directory that we will start the reindex from. So, to run the reindex, we'll type php indexer.php reindex all. Uh, one word. And then just hit enter, and that starts the reindex process. And this will run depending on the server load and the number of products on the site. Um, this can run anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. So just let it run and, and do its thing. When it's done, it will um, return back to the uh, command prompt, which has a pound sign at the end of it. Um, it's just this section right here. That is the command prompt. So um, as you can see it's already re-indexed two of the indexes, the product attributes and product prices. The third one um, will take a little bit longer. It's the catalog URL. So, um, But once it's all done there's about eight of, eight of them and um, it'll return to the command line and Magento will be re-indexed so all of your changes should show up on the front end at that point. And that's it.